so this is day two of the Toyota Sienna uh, fix up um, I was gonna do the suspension uh, replacement but not just yet because I gotta replace an O2 sensor um, I'm currently replacing that one over there um, the one towards the bottom towards the catalytic converter has been changed so I'm just gonna wait for this one to come in and stuff like that so yeah but so far we're making progress so once I'm done with the O2 sensors I'll go ahead and work on the front suspension and the rear suspension and we'll do the oil change and other fluid changes so here's the new here's the new uh, shop it's one whole assembly so pretty much a plug in and play thing so yep I'll get this started So here's the suspension right here. So there's three bolts that's holding this thing up there. And then um, there's two more. Uh, actually, there's four nuts and two nuts and two bolts that you can take out. And then this control arm assembly, I have to take this top part only. Then we'll move this ABS uh, brake line out. Then this will give me more access to get take down this. And I'll should be on my way. So this is right here is a McPherson strut if you guys are wondering what this thing is. Alright, there's the new McPherson strut. I'm gonna put the rim back on and then I'll work on the other side. Alright, both rims are back on. New struts are installed. Now I'm gonna do a fluid change and then tomorrow we'll do the rear suspension. Alright, I'm doing a transmission fluid change right now. Uh, we just got the oil change done right there. So that's all good now. So Yep, uh, this holds about four quarts of transmission fluid, so that's about a Amer uh, one American gallon right there. So. Okay then, so I'm gonna wait for this to drip, keep dripping, uh, as you can see. So uh, I'll be back. So, uh, like I said, we've done the oil change already. I'm currently doing the transmission fluid change, so after this one, I'll do a a coolant flush and then replace it with new coolant and call the night so i'll just wait for this to happen i'll be right back Let's see how this starts up after a tune-up are in the squealing but uh the rpms are not bouncing around we'll fix the squealing but at least the RPMs are still holding steady. There you go. Yep, RPMs are still steady. Erase the trouble codes, no more DTCs. Smooth. After the tune up and the fluid change. Put the new uh, rear strut in. Uh, I already did the, well, actually, we already did the, the two front struts already, so we're now doing this rear one. So this one's done, I'm gonna do the other side. All right, so rear struts installed, front struts installed, new spark plugs are in on the engine now. And uh, we just put a new, uh, uh, we went to pick and pull and got a new carpet. So now, since that's already inside, I'm gonna put the scoop and put those seats that you don't see right behind my forerunner uh, into this back into this car then test drive it and call it a day. There's the car all started up after our tune up and we just changed the suspension. Two front struts and two rear struts. And I'll also clean up the inside as well. 
we at for this though. So. I'm gonna take this car for a little test drive and see how it goes. So that wraps up for this project. Did a tune up, changed the six sock spark plugs, new front struts, new rear struts, and also gave them gave the owner some new set of hubcaps and uh, did a clean up inside. So we did it. All right, time to go ahead and put this car outside. And uh, give it back to the owner tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed.